In this video, I'm going to show you how to assess an unresponsive casualty using the primary survey and how you identify when to administer CPR. The purpose of CPR is to extend the window of opportunity for successful resuscitation by restoring some flow of oxygenated blood to the brain and the heart. We use a doctor's ABC acronym as in the primary survey. The first stage is D for danger. In this clip, the first aider has already ensured it is safe to approach the spectator who is feeling unwell. The next stage is R for response. We use the AVPU scale to assess response. The first aider finds a patient complaining of feeling unwell and looking pale, with an increased and effortful breathing rate. She must quickly find out any relevant medical history. Hi, I'm Lottie. I'm the first aider. Can you tell me what's happened? Yes, I'm really, really, really short of breath and I've got this crushing chest pain at the moment. OK. The casualty is A on AVPU, but clearly unwell and displaying signs and symptoms of a suspected heart attack. Help is required. Can I have some help over here, please? OK, we're just going to put you into a better position, so we're going to sit you onto the floor. Okay. We're just going to help you down. OK. Moving the casualty onto the floor is advisable in case his condition deteriorates. Tony, have you had any medical conditions or history of being unwell? No. OK. The patient has collapsed and therefore their response should be tested using AVPU. Tony, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Tony? If he remains unresponsive to voice, a pain stimulus should be given. If there's no response, are you on the AVPU scale, he may be unable to support his own airway. With a now unconscious casualty, the next stage of Doctor's ABC is to perform a combined check for the presence of an open airway and normal breathing. The first aider needs to perform a head tilt and chin lift. This is maintained while performing a look, listen and feel check for 10 seconds. The first aider places their ear to the casualty's mouth, looking for the rise and fall of the chest, whilst listening for breath sounds and feeling for air on your cheek. The casualty is not breathing and there is no sound or feeling of air. The first aider should immediately instruct the helper to call the emergency services. Sarah, can you go and call an ambulance, tell them we've got an unresponsive male who is not breathing and can you bring the AED back as soon as possible? With a casualty who is not breathing, the next stage in the acronym is C, begin CPR immediately. To explain how this works, we're going to use our mannequin. Kneel at the side of the casualty and place one hand in the centre of the casualty's chest. Place the other hand on top so that the fingers are interlocked. Press down on the chest at a depth of 5 to 6 centimetres or a third of the depth of the chest. 30 compressions are carried out at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Next, you need to give two rescue breaths. Where possible, use a face mask or shield to avoid direct contact and therefore reduce the risk of infection. Pinch the casualty's nose and open the airway by performing a head tilt and chin lift. Place your lips and then blow steadily into the mouth. Watching for the rise of the chest. Remove your mouth and maintain the head tilt, chin lift, while the casualty exhales. Perform another rescue breath before returning to compressions. CPR is continued unless the casualty shows signs of life or until the emergency services arrive and take over. So, our summary for how to manage a casualty who is not breathing is Danger. Make sure the situation is safe to approach. Response. Check for a response from the casualty using the AVPU scale. Shout for help. You will need assistance. If unresponsive, perform a look, listen and feel check to assess for an open airway and normal breathing. If not breathing, ensure an ambulance has been called and an automated external defibrillator, or an AED, has been requested. Begin CPR immediately. <laughs>